the little lady plays today I have this great book review it's called holy squacamole and first of all love the title second of all as you could tell it's a little red hen makes guacamole and true to the title it is a new telling of the little red hen you know one day the little red head was hungry and so she wants to make guacamole now she asks all the you know animals in the neighborhood for help and they all have a reason why they can't and true to the tale the reasons are selfish so up until now i actually really like the book because it does go according to the tale of how nobody wanted to help her and then in the very end this is where i kind of it kind of changes a bit um towards the end she you know everybody of course is available to eat and she feeds them now okay fine she feeds the animals however she does something tricky as you could see she added look at their faces i'm just going to give you a close-up she adds an ingredient that they were totally not expecting it was not sweet it was not savory like in traditional guacamole but rather she added hot sauce so holy squacamole very cute so in terms of the book as you just saw the pictures are really really cute and i appreciated the pictures but there's two things that i just want to not that i didn't like it per se but i want to bring your attention to Number one, I didn't like, as you could see, I found her, the hen, being a little bit deceptive. Like, I get it, the animals didn't want to help, and that's really, again, true to the original story. Totally respect that, but, like, in a way, what was she teaching them? She was deceptive and tricky by adding the red pepper, the hot pepper, and I don't know if I liked, I would say, her manners and her attitude. That's number one. Number two, I didn't like, or not that I didn't like, but I like a book that teaches a lesson. And you know what? Like Little Red Hen, no one helped, nobody benefited. But look, they're all benefiting from the guacamole. So these are just two things I want to bring your attention to. You might like it, you might not. Just again, what I loved, I loved the tale. The tale was great. I'm going to flip backward a little bit. The the pictures are amazing. I really like the illustration. So in terms of overall book, Holy Squacamole, it's a great book. It's it's a fun twist on The Little Red Hen. It's got great illustrations and I like it. It's a, it's a fun tale to tell your kids. But again, in terms of lesson, not so much there. Anyway, if you want your own version of Holy Squacamole, because it really is a cute story, well then don't forget to check out the link below because number one, I'm going to give away a giveaway. So check out the blog post for the link to the giveaway. And number two, I have a lot of giveaways live right now. So don't forget to check out that link to the giveaways page so you can get any giveaway you want. And like always, I give you a few, few free entries per day. So check back off. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I have more books and videos and games coming your way because we're totally here to make education fun. Happy playing.